in this example we're going to graph um, the tangent of 2x and we know it's translated and uh, we want to graph this. So um, just like in sine and cosine the standard form looks like this, it's the same thing a, but now it's tangent quantity b times x minus c plus d, that's a b there Okay, so the first thing you want to do, of course, is identify your A, B, C, and D. So A is 1 in this case, B is 2, there is no phase shift and no vertical shift. The next thing you want to do is you want to calculate your new period. So the new period, I'm going to just abbreviate that as NP, well that's the pure graph period divided by the absolute value of B. So the pure graph period of tangent is pi. Remember, it's 2 pi for sine, cosine, but it's pi for tangent. And we want to divide that by 2. So that means rather than my cycle or my period being pi, it's now pi over 2. Okay, so to graph that, we want to remind ourselves of a little, by drawing a little mini graph of what the tangent looks like. Um, this is, you know, really helpful especially if you're graphing, oops, if you're graphing tangent and cotangent to make sure you get the right one. Okay, so there's the pure graph tangent. Let's just draw a few other little things in here. And we have, um, we have our asymptotes at pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 and the x-intercept is 0. So that's the pure graph. That has not been translated. So now we want to graph this tangent, but we want to graph it with our new period of uh, pi over 2 instead of pi. So I know I'm going to have a um, x-intercept right there at 0. So then I know that rather than um, having an asymptote right here at pi over 2, Instead, I'm going to have it at pi over 4. And I'm just noticing that I don't have that on here, so I'll just make it on here. Okay. So there's my asymptotes. And that's at pi over 4. And then here's another one at negative pi over 4. This might not have been the best axes for this because it's going to look really cramped in there. And then to graph it, you just simply, you just you could just freehand this. You don't have to be super exact. This is just a sketch. There's the tangent right there. Okay, so then I know um, if I want to draw another cycle, then we would like to know um, how often the asymptotes repeat and how often the x-intercepts repeat. So your book uh, does a super job of this, and I think it's on page 122. There's a great chart there. So let's talk about the asymptotes a minute, okay? Okay, so the new, to figure out your new asymptotes, remember the pure graph, they're at pi over 2, and every k pi. See, the first one occurs at pi over 2. There, we've got it right there. And then because the period is pi, if you were to go a pi distance down there, you'd have another asymptote. So what you do is you take that and divide that by the absolute value of b. So now you're going to have asymptotes at pi over 4. Right? Pi over 2 divided by 2 is pi over 4, plus every k pi over 2. So then you could draw more there um, if you wanted to. And let's switch back to this color. So every pi over 2, then there would be another one right there. And another one right there. You could just sketch in. You could sketch them on the opposite side too. And just sketch in another cycle there, and another cycle there, 
and so on and so forth. All right, so that's asymptotes. Uh, we maybe should have done the x-intercepts before we graphed, but let's do those now. So the x-intercepts, well, where do those occur? So they occur at every k times pi. It starts at 0, so if k is 0, 0 times pi is 0. But now you're going to divide that by the absolute value of b, so that's 2. So those things are going to occur every k pi over 2. So we got one there, one there, one there. So that's how you figure out um, on paper, how you figure out your new x-intercepts and you figure out your new asymptotes um, and then to graph that. And again, we could have gone in the negative direction also. Okay, so there is a graph of um, a phase shift of just with a um, just with a period change. I'll do another example that's got a, a phase shift here and, and, and an amplitude change. So that's the end of this example.